The South by Southwest Film Festival wraps up today after nine days of premiere events. Joining us today are, is one of the films. The first is uh, the Lone Star Special Jury Recognition winner. It's called Trash Dance. It's a documentary about finding inspiration in an unexpected place. Choreographer Allison Orr follows garbage trucks around and convinces them to collaborate in a unique dance performance. Joining us today, the film's director, Andrew Garrison, and choreographer Allison Orr. Thank you so much for joining us today. Great to be here. How was the premiere event? It, it was amazing. We had a standing ovation for the Paramount both times we screened and a standing ovation at the third screening. Very well received. This is such an interesting concept, documentary style. Allison, how did you even come up with this idea? I know that that's, you kind of have a background in that. Yes, I, I had done a similar project with the fire department mm -hmm. and also had worked with the police department and had long dreamed of working with what's now called Austin Resource Recovery in a production to feature their employees. So you follow these people around and mm -hmm. they kind of let you into their lives and you convince them you to put on this dance performance. How did that go? Oh, it was remarkable. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, we, um, I mean, it was just, just a great, great ride the entire time. Is, is it hard for them to kind of open up to this idea? Well, I think that's really one of the wonderful things about the film is that Andy really shows and explores that. And um, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, no, people were really receptive to it. And I think once I got my foot in the door with folks, they really came on board. Now, Andrew, how long had this been kind of in the making? How long did it take to, to follow these guys around? Well, the first day for me was Allison's first day in safety training, and that was back in September of 2008. And she worked with them until the performance of September 2009. So I was filming that whole time, and then there was some filming the following year, and then uh, it was editing for about a year and a half. What's the greatest part of watching garbage trucks make <laughs> dance and music? <laughs> you want to do that? You should, you should answer that. Uh, it was, well, I mean, the performance was stunning. It actually was very emotional and very moving. But for me, it was also just the people themselves, getting to meet them, getting to ride out with them, and learning a little bit about what they do every day was, was really a great process. Sure. What are, I mean, some of the stories that you guys heard from all of this? <laughs> Well, you know, the thing is, it's not so much stories, it's the fact that everyone works so hard. You know, they're working sure. often two jobs and uh, trying to, some people are going to school, some people are taking other courses, and you just never think about how dedicated people are to this job. You know, and it's going on all the time, invisibly around us. So, so what's next? You've done the fire department, you've done the uh, sanitation department. Yes. What's next? Well, um, I'm doing a project with our conductor, the Austin Symphony conductor Peter Bay, and a performance featuring his movement as the gesture for the choreographic vocabulary. And I'm also talking with another city department about a similar large-scale production in the next couple years. So it's all about finding this raw material in life that you yes. can convert into art and dance. Exactly. That's so cool. Exactly. Great. I'm glad to hear the the premiere went well, and uh, congratulations on the film. Great, thank you. And uh, we hope to have you back someday on a new project. Yeah, terrific. Good. And All one right. more screening tonight. Yeah. And one more screening tonight. Where Seven, will that be? Yeah, 7.30 at the State. 7.30 at the State. Great. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us.